Hi guys, I'm Leo from Leonard. Welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'll take some macro photos using this super cool uh, digital microscope, which is from this brand called Pluggable. It's a very good microscope. As you can see, it has some lights, uh, adjustable lights. So you can see your subject uh, better. And it has a focus ring, so you can pull focus. And right here, there's a button that it, in just one click, you take a photo and that photo gets saved to your computer. So I got this microscope right here and I got our little guest, which is a murder hornet. those hornets that are invading the US. They are usually from Asia. Asia. They are also called uh, giant Asian hornets. And they are invading the US and killing a lot of honeybees invading their hives. So uh, I, I want to show uh, this beast up close with some macro photos right here with this microscope. So let's hop into the computer and get started. We are now here at my computer as you can see and I, I've got a question for you guys. I have a collection of these little animals, the little bugs, insects and if you want me to keep doing these macro shots of these animals, these cool animals, I have scorpions, um, just leave your like and leave a comment saying that you want to see more and I'll do more for you guys. Let's get the lights on and now we need to pull focus. Oh, look at those textures, those, those are pretty cool. It, it's cool too because as you can see that the this little acrylic is, is pretty damaged but the microscope can see through it so it will work just fine. So as you can see right here, let's take some photos, I, I like those patterns. You can see pretty clearly those uh, distinctions between yellow and, and this black part, but it's, it, it's kind of silver because there are air bubbles, so it's kind of silverish, but it, this is the, the black part and here is the yellow part, so as you can see. The, the wings look pretty cool, look at that. Let's snap a, a photo of the wings too. And as you can see, all the photos are being saved right here. So I'll, I'll put them in full screen for you guys to see once I take them. Let's go to the head. Oh my god, th this... <laughs> it looks pretty big, but when you look it's not that big. Oh, oh, guys! Fun, fun fact. A little curiosity for you, right here, is that honeybees and and hornets have more than just two eyes. They have five eyes. They have these two bigger eyes and two uh, and three eyes right here on their forehead. So as you can see, there you we can see all the eyes right here. And, and plenty of, of little uh, little hair. That's kind of cool. So I'll snap a, a photo of this eyes. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. And here we got what is it? Oh my god! Oh, that that's is that like off? Is that part of the horn? Or? I don't think so. I think that that's little little dust that got into the acrylic somehow when, probably when they, they were putting the, the hornet here so oh my god look at this this is worth the shot for sure these guys can actually uh, get to like five centimeters they can get pretty big and I've seen some videos there's uh, things uh, are pretty painful so 
don't mess up with them and if you are allergic that that's not not good they are pretty painful and they can get angry uh, not not always but avoid them <laughs> so right here we get the the wing oh that looks cool I'm loving the patterns that it has it's they are pretty good the textures look pretty good the, the the resolution of this microscope is pretty nice it's a 250 times magnification so that's pretty cool and and that's a lot too so as you can see that these wings are pretty used <laughs> they are they are like damaged both wings yeah they're kind of damaged let me see if I can get a, a more symmetrical shot uh, right here I think it's good let's adjust the focus oh that's look pretty <laughs> that looks pretty cool so here is where this thing was supposed to be let's pull oh, other way oh that's cool that's inside the, the hornet oh that's very cool this one unfortunately doesn't have a sting but uh, sometimes uh, when bee, bees and hornets sting the sting can get to to the, your skin or, or other animals skin and and stay there and they they and then they lose their stings or they sometimes don't lose them so this one apparently lost hers so oh that's pretty cool you can oh maybe that's the sting that entered her body I don't know maybe as you can see that that's pretty cool that is worth a shot as well so let me get things more aligned Full focus and boom. Yeah, took two by accident, but that's okay. Oh, look at the the eyes. Oh my god, they look pretty cool. You can see those little segmentations, like like uh, fly eyes. They are segmented in in little, let's say, squares. That's pretty cool. That's worth the shot. Did I take it? Yeah, took it too. But let's see. The, the most in interesting part that <laughs> I'm waiting to show you the face. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks scary. This looks so scary. Let me pull focus about here and snap some photos. Oh my god, this looks very scary. Imagine the, this this thing like three times bigger because they, they can get about three times bigger than this one. I probably have a baby right here. So they, they are pretty scary. They can get pretty big. And they look so cool and you, you can see the eyes too. Look at that. The little mouth. That must hurt if if it bites you. Let's look. At, let's have a side view of the face. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh my God! Look at those textures on, on the face, the head right here. I'll try to get some more light. I got this lighting here, illuminating the desktop, but. I'll steal it a bit to do this. Let's. Oh my god, it's strong. Let's put it stronger. And then we can see better. Oh my god, that looks pretty cool. As you guys can see, you don't need a macro lens to take ma. Oh! to take macro shots because this this is much cheaper than a dedicated macro lens 
and it can get the job done. So it's pretty cool to see that uh, all the different hardware and equipment gear uh, that you can use to get the same uh, thing with with all those those different gadgets. It's pretty cool. That's why we love photography. Oh, look at that eye. It's it's kind of red, kind of color of wine. It's pretty cool. Let me. I don't have a tripod for this, so let's improvise. And I'll take a shot right here. Did I take it? Oh, these microscopes are really cool. And there are some ones, some microscopes too, that can get up to a thousand times. So imagine that you can see all those segmentations pretty clearly but it is still pretty good in, in this in this setting right here so guys this video will end here i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already also turn on post notifications so you don't miss out whenever i post a new video so i i hope you like this one as much as i did making it because I, I love animals and to see those little details up close that you can't really see with uh, your eyes with uh, without a special gadget and I think that's pretty cool and as I saw earlier you can take some very cool macro shots uh, not not necessarily using the the macro gear this is a microscope and it can take photos so let, let's use that you don't really need a, a hell of a camera with a, a hell of a lens to get very nice macro shots you you gotta use what you have be creative what with what you have uh, to get those shots so I think that that really space that really pays off of photography that you can improvise to get the same results with uh, all kinds of stuff so I'm Leo I'm out and bye bye see you in the next one yeah.